Have you ever seen a truck driving down the highway and wondered where it was going? That truck is probably carrying goods that you'll buy at the store later today. Long-haul truckers are the unsung heroes of our economy, transporting goods across the country and around the world. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the world of long-haul trucking. We'll talk about the life of a long-haul trucker, the different types of trucks used in long-haul trucking, the challenges that long-haul truckers face, and the future of long-haul trucking. Let's start with the importance of long-haul trucking. When you think of freight transport, you might think that ships or trains account for the largest part. However, trucks move roughly 72.6% of the nation's freight by weight and around 77% in Europe. In 2021, 13.65 billion tons of goods were transported in the 27 EU states and around 12.5 billion tons of freight in America. There are about 13.86 million trucks registered in the United States. Of this figure, 2.97 million are tractor trailers, and 10.5 million are single-unit trucks and are generating over $700 billion in revenue each year. There are more than 6.4 million medium and heavy commercial vehicles on EU roads. The Trucks Used in Long-Haul Trucking Semi-trailer trucks are the most common type of truck used for long-haul trucking. They can carry a lot of cargo, and they are relatively fuel-efficient. Semi-trailer trucks are also very maneuverable, which is important for driving on highways and city streets. The tractor of a semi-trailer truck is typically equipped with a sleeper cab, which allows the driver to sleep. This is important for long-haul trucking, as drivers can often be on the road for days at a time. The trucks in Europe are often 4x2 or 6x2 with a trailer with two or three axles, where the American trucks often are 6x4s with a trailer with two or three axles. The average semi-truck in the United States drives about 100,000 miles per year. In Europe, the average semi-truck drives about 75,000 miles per year. There are a few reasons for this difference. The United States has a more decentralized economy, with businesses located all over the country. This means that trucks have to travel longer distances to deliver goods. The United States has a more developed highway system than Europe, which makes it easier for trucks to travel long distances quickly. This is also one of the reasons the American truck cabs are bigger, as the long nose allows for more cab space which can make the truck more comfortable for the driver and passengers. This is especially important for long-haul trucks, where the driver may spend days at a time on the road, but also for aerodynamics reasons, as the long nose helps to improve the aerodynamics of the truck, which can save fuel. This is especially important for American trucks, as the speed limit for trucks on most interstate highways is 65 miles per hour. However, in some states, the speed limit for trucks is lower, such as 55 miles per hour in California and 50 miles per hour in Michigan. The speed limit for trucks on most highways in Europe is 80 kilometers an hour, or 50 miles per hour. The rules for long haul truckers. The weight rules for truckers vary depending on the state or country, but for most interstate highways, the maximum gross weight for trucks is 80,000 pounds. The maximum GVW for trucks on most highways in Europe is 40 to 44 tons, but some countries may allow much more than 90 tons. The driving rules for trucks in America and Europe vary depending on the specific state or country, but truck drivers in the US are allowed to drive for up to 11 hours within a 14-hour period. They are then required to take a mandatory 10-hour break. This is known as the 11-hour rule. Truck drivers in the EU are allowed to drive for up to 9 hours within a 10-hour period, with a lot of additions we won't go into detail with. 
However, this limitation on driving time impacts their daily schedule and route planning as they constantly need to keep an eye on remaining driving time and where the next trucking rest stop is. The Challenges of Long Haul Trucking The life of a long haul trucker can be tough. They spend long hours on the road, away from their families and friends. They have to deal with the stress of driving long distances, staying awake for long periods of time, and dealing with difficult weather conditions. Also, long-haul truckers have to comply with a lot of regulations, which can be time-consuming and frustrating. Long-haul truckers have to rely on truck stops for rest and essential facilities. Truck stops provide food, showers, laundry services, and other amenities truckers need during their off-duty hours. These stops are strategically located along highways and common trucking routes to cater to the needs of truckers on the road. Despite the challenges, long-haul trucking is a rewarding career. Long-haul truckers can earn a good salary and have the opportunity to see the country. The long-haul trucking industry is facing a number of challenges, including an aging workforce, the rise of automation, and the need for more sustainable transportation solutions. The average age of a long-haul trucker is 55 years old, and many truckers are nearing retirement age. This is a major challenge for the industry, as it is difficult to find qualified young people to replace retiring truckers. The Future of Long Haul Trucking The future of long haul trucking is changing rapidly. Autonomous trucks and electric trucks are on the horizon, and they could revolutionize the industry. Focus on emissions and regulations have been increasing for years, and trucks are required to emit less and less. Because trucks contribute a significant amount to CO2 emissions, in the United States, trucks account for about 29% of transportation-related CO2 emissions. In the European Union, trucks account for about 27% of transportation-related CO2 emissions. The trucking industry is taking steps to reduce its CO2 emissions. For example, the American Trucking Association has set a goal of reducing the carbon intensity of freight transportation by 40% by 2050. The European Automobile Manufacturers Association has also set a goal of reducing the CO2 emissions from new trucks by 30% by 2030. However, new emissions rules and regulations can be a challenge for truck manufacturers. They need to invest in new technologies and make changes to their designs in order to meet the new standards, which can be expensive and challenging. The future for trucks might be electric, but as of 2023, only around 1.2% of new truck sales has been electric. But many governments are setting emissions standards for trucks, which is forcing manufacturers to develop electric trucks. According to a report by Bloomberg NEF, the global market for electric trucks is expected to grow from 20,000 units in 2022 to 1.2 million units in 2025. By 2030, electric trucks are expected to account for 30% of all new truck sales. It will be exciting to see if the development of electric trucks and the batteries can keep up with the demand and the demands the trucks make, but only time can tell. Thank you for watching this video about long haul trucking. I hope you learned something new about this important industry. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more informative videos about the trucking industry. And if you have any questions about long haul trucking, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.